European version of uh, the O'Donnells. Um, Count O'Donnell, Tyrconnell in Austria, is a continue. Henry's brother, Lieutenant General Joseph O'Donnell, 1722-17, lived in Spain where the Irish always received the same opportunities for promo promotion as the native Spanish. You know, there, there had to be more than just the Catholic religion binding those people. There was a consciousness that they were related, the Spanish and the Irish. He had six sons and two daughters. His eldest, eldest daughter, Beatrix, married Manuel de Pompo, Colombia's national hero. That's Colombia in South America. Her many descendants are still in South America. Carlos O'Donnell, 1773 to 1830, was the second son of General Joseph O'Donnell, Carlos' son was Leopoldo O'Donnell. These are all in southern. The most outstanding of the Spanish O'Donnells. Following the successful Moroccan campaign, he was created Duke of Tetuan. Now this is this is important because this is where they're this is where the current ones kind of are going to end up. Uh, that's T E T U N Tetuan in 1860. He was governor of Cuba for a while and was prime minister of Spain in 1858. Leopoldo's nephew, Lieutenant Carlos O'Donnell died in 1903, was Chamberlain, Minister of State, and Ambassador at the courts of Brussels, Vienna, and Lisbon. Carlos's son Juan, 1864 to 1928, presided at the Irish Race Convention held in 1919. The delegates endeavoured to gain the support of President Wilson of America for Ireland's claim to nationhood, but their efforts ended in failure. Now, isn't that extraordinary, that there was a European that knew who he was? and had such an incredible um, resume. Unbelievable. Um, in 1956, the National University of Ireland conferred an honorary degree on his descendant, uh, Leopoldo, Duke of Tetuan. It is impossible to visit Madrid today without recognizing the influence of the O'Donnells. One of its principal streets bears the name, and so do many shops, commercial houses, and garages. There is one family of 13 O'Donnell brothers, and in the telephone directory there are numerous. The present Duke of Tetuan of the Spanish O'Donnells has five brothers, all married. After the Battle of the Boyne in, 18, in 1690, Daniel O'Donnell was one of the family who went to Spain, taking with him the Caja. Now that's interesting too, because the Caja was an old book that was actually written by the, um, I've forgotten who, but one of the O'Donnells way, way back. Now, also remember the Annals of the Four Masters was written by the scribe to the Adals, Michal O'Leary. <clears throat> so they obviously had a very strong uh, image of themselves and also were very, very literate and treasured those books. So it's not a, it wasn't unusual, it wasn't surprising then that Red Hugh had brought a copy of the Book of um, Invasions with them. To Spain. So you're saying that one of the O'Donnells, which one, actually took uh, co the collection of the animals of so-called four masters and put it together? Um, the Annals of the Four Masters was written in the early 1600s. It was completed about 1628, 1630, somewhere like that, by uh, Michal O'Cleary, who was from Donegal but had been educated in Louvain. He was a you're right, he was a Franciscan monk. But he came over to Ireland to collect he actually wrote the uh, Lives of the Three Saints, Patrick, Bridget and Colm Kill. But when he'd done that, he realized that the Irish world had fallen apart after the flight of the Barrows. So you're talking twenty years afterwards. And he engaged in an incredible work on his own, literally, because that's not what he, his, his principle in Louvain allowed him to stay behind a little while. And uh, he worked out of a monastery, an, a, an actual convent which is in Donegal town. It's still there. And he was financed by uh, the O'Garas from North Sligo. But um, he was obviously very conscious of who he was 
in that he was the ancient scribes to the O'Donnells, but the O'Donnells were there no more. Anyway, um, it's interesting that, as I say, that he just mentioned here, after the battle, the battle of the Boyne, after the end of the Willamette Wars, when you know, at the end of that awful century, when we really got ground into the dirt, Daniel O'Donnell um, was one of the family who went to France, taking with them the Caja. Now I know that the Caja book is associated with the McDonald's because they used to carry it into battle with them. And so I know about the, the Caja, which again is extraordinary, again when you think about it. That, and if you look, by the way, if you look at their, um, their coat of arms, and th there are certain coats of their heraldry does predate the Normans, they did use to use um, those type of things, only unfortunately it's become a little anglicized through the heraldic department in Dublin, but they had the cross, a red cross on their shield with a hand holding it, and they actually used the same invocation, or the same as um, uh, <coughs> Constantine, Emperor Constantine, in hoc, single, in hoc signo vinces, that was their motto, in this sign you will conquer in hoc signo vinces. So the O'Donnell crest is one of the better known crests. I happen to know it by heart, if you like, um, in Ireland. But what, what was in the car? Pardon? What was in the car? <sighs> genealogy, ancient, ancient genealogy, history. Did of the, that, that, that work? Yes, in fact. Is it part of the format? No, well. Uh, no, in fact, it had survived in the O'Donnell family in 1690, which is 70 years after, or more, after the Annals of the Four Masters. So O'Cleary would be long dead. But uh, one of the O'Donnells who would have fought on James's side, both at Inniskillen and in Derry and probably at, at uh, the Battle of the Boyne, but as you know, uh, most of them left from Limerick. They had gone, they retreated down to Limerick, and most of those, about 15,000 of them, that was the wild geese. So that was not a whole lot later, yeah. They were known as the, the wild geese. So the, uh, that, that was a very destructive century, as you know, 1607. The Flight of the Earls in 1690, well, actually, 16, I think it was 93 or 94, I've forgotten the actual um, Treaty of Limerick, shame on me. Uh, but it was a number of years later. I always argue that the real end was not the Battle of the Boyne, but the, the so-called Battle of Limerick. Only it wasn't a battle, it was a Treaty of Limerick, which they immediately broke. The, the English immediately uh, broke it. But anyway, Daniel O'Dell was one of the family who went to France, taking with him the Caja. I've no doubt that he was one of the... He, he left on the, the ship that sailed into... The um, Boyne, uh, sorry, the Shannon Estuary, literally as they, they were signing the, um, as Sarsfield was signing the uh, Treaty of Limerick. And um, it was de deposited in a monastery where it was discovered by a priest in the 1880s. Uh, Sir Neil O'Donnell of the Newport County Mayo family claimed it as the badge of, his, of their chieftaincy. This was disputed by the other branches of the family. Now, I mentioned the uh, O'Donnells of Newport, but they had become anglicized. Um, but that's okay. There's a lot of, um, like the, the uh, uh, Lord Sligo, the, um, the, 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 there's a lot of uh, families that uh, took English titles and are anglicized, but they are very conscious and very proud of their uh, their actual Gaelic origins. So, uh, kind of claimed it as the badge then. This was disputed by the other branch of the family. Finally, the Caja reached the neutral haven of the Royal Irish Academy, where it was placed by Sir Richard Emsley O'Donnell, fourth baronet of Newport House, now a first class hotel. So, it's actually preserved in Dublin. How do you spell Caja? C A T H A C H, which is C A T A C with dots on the T and the C in the ancient Gaelic. C A T H. Kaha. Yeah, C A T H A C H. Yeah. 
Um, it's a very well-known book, and uh, it is. Uh, I don't think I've ever run into that before. No. Okay. But the, and if you're going to uh, buy a, a copy of an, the Animals of the Four Masters somewhere, it's on my website. The entire thing. It's on your website. It's on my website. Is it, oh, you got okay. Yeah. yeah, I've got the entire. The, and the and the, what was it? Better than a book. Pardon? Oh, it's much better in a book, of course. But it's on my website. You don't have to go yeah, buy it. No. So the, the, I the, scanned the, it the in. The original, original author of that was what was his name again? The, the one, the best no. one, the original one. Well, there was four of them, but the. Yeah, but the, but the one person who brought it. Michal, yeah, Michal O'Cleary, yeah. Michael Cleary, Michael Mi Cleary. Michal O'Cleary, yeah. yeah, a Franciscan monk in uh, out of uh, Louvain, and the original is still. I, well, no, I think it was brought back to Ireland but it was in Louvain for many years. Actually, it has a long history. I think we talked about it 